Hi and welcome to BritHawks 3D Paint. Today I'm going to be updating my Anacubic Linear Plus 3D printer from its standard bed plate adhesive sticker to this new Wham Bam magnetic steel plate. I'd like to thank Wham Bam for sending me this plate for review and testing. Uh, they sent it for free but no money changed hands and my views are my own. That being said, I have been using Wham Bam for many months now. I backed them on Kickstarter and I have their bed plate on my Creality CR10 S4. And to date, it's worked very well. So I have good hopes that this is going to be brilliant. So let's get on with it. Start with a little unboxing, see that see what's inside. And well packed. Got a bit of steel wool, and that will come in handy later. We have the wham bam 240 round. have some instructions, some stickers, very nice, we know we all love stickers, and a flex plate with the PEX sheet, or PEX sheet, and the magnet. I think to make life a little bit easier, I'm gonna remove the plate and do it on the table. First to take off the sticky pad, the original. I'm just checking I'm not doing any damage to the cables. Right. Okay, that's the edge going. Okay, that's pretty, pretty easy, not too bad. There is a bit of glue being left. Clean that up with a bit of alcohol in a second. And there we go. Just going to put it on. Let it absorb it for a bit. Just leave it to soak for a little while. Okay, that's the worst of it off. I should just go over one more time with a clean bit of paper and a fresh bit of alcohol. Not contaminated with the old glue. That's lovely. Okay, now I'm gonna just offer up the magnet. Check it for size. And it is Exactly, 410, okay, now I'm going to apply this by peeling off a small amount and folding it back on itself. Lining it up all the way around. When I'm happy, Only when I'm happy, stick the front edge, front back edge, whatever it may be, just there. Now I'm going to lift. 
lift it up, find the tag, gently pull, and work it all the way. Bobbing, as I go. Trying to make sure I'm not getting any air bubbles. I'm getting a good finish. Okay, and now I can return the bed back. Okay, now the magnet plate is back and the heat pad, pad is back. Just going to test this. Okay, now to attach the pack sheet. First thing I'm going to do is just give it a little rub off to remove any contamination with the alcohol on my fingerprints off the wham bam steel plate. to apply the peck sheet. I'm carefully rubbing, trying not to get any air bubbles. the surface to aid in adhesion. I'm just going to give it a last one more clean with alcohol. Now time to level the bed. I never remember what to do so I always check back to the manual and follow it exactly. I've put on the leveling probe on the end, connected the wire, into bed leveling, measure Z position. And it's going to probe the bed. Okay, after it's reset, I'm going to level again. This time, auto bed leveling. Prepare leveling. Begin leveling. finish that we're going to go back to the prepare leveling there's a new offset 1570 change offset 1570 and we're going to store Now time to test print. Now first test print, and I will probably have to adjust the Z on the first go. And 
and it actually seems pretty good. Now for the biggest test. The problem with the previous bed wasn't that it wouldn't stick, the problem was it was too hard to remove. It had to scrape all the time. So now... Easy. So for my initial thoughts and review. The installation was simple, should only take about 10 to 15 minutes to do. I did forget to mention that Wham Bam do supply a few little alley strips if your bed is uneven, you can use those first on the bed before you apply the magnet. Luckily, with the Anycubic, the bed is pretty flat, so I didn't need them. When I did my Creality, I used all the strips and probably could have used a few more. It's very uneven. Wham Bam do have a wide selection of sizes available, so please check out their website to see if there's something to suit your printer. The fit for the Anycubic was perfect and I definitely can recommend the bed. It works perfectly, the prints removed easily and adhered very nicely to it and also left a nice glossy finish on the bottom. I hope you find this re review useful and if you did please hit the like and subscribe button. If you'd like to see more of my designs please check out my mini factory and Colts and I shall leave links in the description as well. And as always, happy printing.